All right, and we uh, let me spotlight myself so we have this to start with. Okay, everybody, well, welcome to uh, my paper pumpkin uh, session where we're going to make one of each of the different um, boxes in the, what is this? This is the December, actually the December kit, even though today is January 5th. Um, but I'm Brenda Miller, for those of you joining by replay, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in New Jersey. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox uh, our kits. So maybe some of you have already done so, but I'm going to go ahead and, and see what we've got. We've got a little garden green spot. I use garden green a lot. This is a good color to have, and I'm not sure we've had this before. So those of you who've been long time subscribers that might be another good one for you this has a cute little all words um stamp set so good to keep in your collection you never know it's also got the the very elusive graduation um which is always nice you don't always find the graduation stamps so and it does have a little happy birthday and an oh baby with love which is just in time for valentine's day although none of these are valentine themed <clears throat> themed so just so that you know um so we're gonna we're gonna use all, most of them in our kits so it comes with some basic gray twine so this is like the baker's twine a little bit thicker it's not a thread it's a twine and then we have our usual flyer this is talking about the the kit that is going to be sent this month in January that we'll do the first Thursday in February and these are some Valentine's um, and then this had an add-on kit while supplies last so you can get card bases now I did not use any of them because I completely forgot to order the add-on kit just coincidentally don't know why um, but they're basically colors on the outside and white on the inside so they are really good to have so if you're interested in your placing an order, I think it's only, it's not very much and you get a bunch of the cards. Uh, regular size. And I guess they come with envelopes too, matching envelopes. So anyway, good to know that that's still available. Okay. So, oh, I meant to mention, I love the box this time. I think this is fun and you could really use this. Just cover this up, right? Um, put a label on it, and you're good to go for the gift. I'm keeping my boxes. I don't always, but I will keep this one. Okay, so here we have our kit, and you see that we're going to make, well, we could make 16 different little boxes. And let's go ahead and open it. I love, one of my favorite things to get, besides sparkly embellishment, is when they give us the tear and tape. So it's like a little sampler of it, but it's this is what we're going to use uh, to put our boxes together, but also um, you can use regular adhesive in spots. So if you want to hoard this like I do, <laughs> you could do that. So now we have our card, our, our box bases, and you can see what's really nice is that there are four different colors. But then when you flip them over, there are four other colors. I'm not showing one. Here it is. There we go. So the, the eight different colors of little boxes. So I actually, when I did my alternative projects, I resisted cutting these up um, because I think that they are very useful uh, all year round um, to have. And you could always go back to your stamp set and make something that fits an occasion instead of making it into, you know, cards just to keep some on hand because they're already scored and cut and they are so easy to assemble. <clears throat> so they're really good to have. So while we're going through our box, let's go ahead and take one of each of these. Um, and I know I like to do it in the piles of box one, box two, box three, and box four. So I'm going to make four piles. And I'm just getting out the instructions so that I make sure I don't make any mistakes, which is no guarantee either. <laughs> but um, so this, so let's see, I think this is the side that we're working with. So the one that is uh, pink and a light green, that is uh, box number one. 
Okay. Then the next one we have is the one that's basic gray on one side and then the balmy blue on the other. Um, while you're looking at it, just look at it. It looks textured, right? I love that they have you know, that they're not just plain. But anyway, this is box number two. Okay. Box number three is the one that is Calypso Coral and Tempting, uh, no wait, sorry, Tahitian Tide. <laughs> one of those turquoises. So that's box number three. And the last one is the Garden Green box that has the uh, crushed curry on the other side. So that's box number four. All right. And if you want to follow along, it's just in, in the brochure that comes with it. That's all I'm using. But I like to go through it as we go through the boxes. Of course, I, I had it upside down, so I did them in the opposite order. I don't know if that's going to matter. Yeah. All right, everybody. So those four that we just took out, we're going to put them down in a different order. Sorry about that. <laughs> the garden green one is box number one. Garden green, box number one. Calypso coral, box number two. So here we have one, two. Box number three is the basic gray. And box number four is the lighter green. I don't want to say that's mint mac macaron. It might be. It might be what it's supposed to be. Okay. Are we, is everybody okay after the screw up? Okay, yep. out there. Sorry about that. Okay, we're back on track. Okay, so now we have these belly bands. Now, you all know how much I love belly bands. I, I posted a lot about them um, recently. Uh, I love to wrap boxes. It's the easiest way. And what's nice about these, these are double-sided as well. So this is one side, and then this is the other. So I will tell you where the, each one goes. So this the one that I have on top is the mint macaron with the gray polka dots, and that goes with box number three. So that goes with the basic gray base. Okay. The stars, the yellow so saffron stars and the mint macaron stripes, that one goes with number four. Box number four. The balmy blue one has little um, graduation hats and pencils. <clears throat> so very cute. And that is goes with box number one. And the final one with the sprinkles and the, the multicolored stripes, that goes with box number two. Right. So next up in our packaging, I know that in the middle there somewhere was our dimensional, so we want to have those. Next up, we have circles, and two of the cards need a circle, so punch out two. And you get lots of circles, which is so nice. I think you get like 20 some, maybe 24 circles, which is amazing. Anyway, one circle goes with box number one, and one circle goes with box number four. All right. Same thing on the next one, these lovely label ones. We get a ton of them as well, and we're going to need two. And not surprisingly, they go with boxes two and three that don't have the circles. All right. So as we continue to sort, I don't know which one was on top, so I'm gonna pick up the one that has the the cap and get the cap for the cap and gown. I'm gonna punch out the cap first and that goes with card I mean, box number one, you can see that there. And the flower goes with box number three. You can see that. 
and then two stars. So you can see there are big stars and little stars, one of each. And they go with box number four. So you need two of these for box number four. Big one and little one. And there we go. Easy enough. And then we'll move on to the other little die cut sheet. Now, okay, I'm going to just say it. This little cupcake, my favorite thing in the whole kit. I wish they gave us 20 of them. But this little cupcake goes with box number two. And then we need two of the leaves. I like these two. They're laser cut, which is so nice. And these little leaves go with box number three. And Brenda, I want yeah. to leave. I'm sorry. Okay, that's all right. Good to see mm -hmm. you. Thanks for joining. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, so next up, we have these little cards. And the cards are designed to go inside the box so that you can write your message, which is really nice. But we did not, these are not used on the exterior of any of the boxes. So we're going to put them all aside. But I'm sure you would realize that I used a lot of these on my alternative projects, right? They really, they're already pre-decorated. It's so nice. So putting them all aside, we get down to our last die cut. And these have the little, I'm going to call them bread tags, right? Don't they look like a little bread tag? And you need one of each of these for each box. So we need to punch out four little bread tags. And they go one per box. And the very last thing we need is one of those long strips. You can see they gave us a ton of them, but we just need one. And that goes with box number four. And those are all our pieces. So much easier when you just do this up front. Highly recommend doing that when you're working on your kits. All right. So is everybody good and ready to go? Thumbs up if you are. All right. I got one. You good, Lynn? Okay. And Lois, Lois is gone, but she'll be back. <laughs> so, okay. So let's start with box number one. Now, we're going to have to do this with all of them. And that is folding and assembly. Now, I can't remember which project it was, but we've done this before. The same exact box. Just it looked a little different, or maybe it was slightly smaller, but it was very similar. So what I'm doing is I'm just folding down all the pieces, and I'm doing it so that the green stays on the outside. You, of course, could switch it. You can fold it either way, and you don't have to go crazy making your folds like, you know, I'm not even using scoring bone. I'm just hand doing it. And once you get all your little folds, you're going to tuck in both of the, the smaller sets. So you've got a small set up here and a small set here. And you're going to, working with one side from the base, you're just going to pull up and make sure that those little tabs are tucked under and pressed down. And what happens is, it locks just into itself. You see that? So that makes it so easy to assemble. This is its a little hard to do on camera, under the camera, just the way I have my setup. I can't put my head where I'd like it to be. That'll be back. But just getting that in there. And once I do, you press down. And it locks into place. And then it's just like it's the same shape as our paper pumpkin boxes, except really thin. Everybody good with that? Is it you're finding it easy? Do you no. remember doing no. this? Before? <laughs> you just tuck those tabs in on the side and fold up and over. Yep, Sheila's got it. Not yet. 
<laughs> These are similar to something we've done before. Yeah, remember? I don't yeah. remember what it was. I don't either, but I definitely yeah, me neither. <laughs> But I do remember how they folded into themselves. Right, yeah. Reasons. And they made the trick or treat boxes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Treat box. Yes, you're right. You're right. And we did belly bands around those too. Oh. That, yeah. I think it was just the bottoms, right? It just made the bottoms. Yeah. This one actually has right. the lid. Yeah, you're right. That's what it was. Yes. Good memory, Lynn. Yeah. Good job there. <laughs> Did you get it, Lynn? Are you good? I'm getting it. I guess I didn't fold hard enough because it won't stay closed. Right. Well, that's okay. See, mine's not staying closed either. Okay. Oh. It just kind of pops open just because, you know, it's okay, okay. because right. you're going to you're going to take your belly band. Now, the belly band, you can see, is scored and all you're doing, so again, it's just like we did with at least one of the boxes. I don't know, I think they all had a belly band. Just, I think the base was open. So what you're gonna do is score all, all four. And then, now you wanna make sure if the, it's not too tight. So it really doesn't matter which way you do it. But I put the top down inside the box and I layer them over. And then you're going to use the, roll of tear and tape to secure them. So taking my tear and tape out of the box and thing here. Okay. And of course the hardest part is finding the edge. There it is. And you literally can just tear. So I'm just eyeballing it, tearing it, and I'm just gonna put it at the edge at one edge. You just want it on one edge. You do not want to secure it to the box. That's the key, okay? You want the inside one just to be loose. And the outside one, with the tear and tape, it comes over and not too tight because you want to be able to pull the box out. But once you place it down, it'll stay. And you'll see that you can slide it in and out. Okay, so the belly band is just that. It just goes right around the center of the box. And using the tear and shape makes it very easy. So we will be doing that exact same step for all of our cards. And then it's just a little bit of stamping and gluing. So are, can we move to the stamping? Has everybody got their box assembled? Yes. Okay. So let's st start with our circle. The circle is actually going to take two stamps. It's going to use the congrats, with the exclamation point, and the you did it. Now, I mounted mine. I have multiples on my block, so just forgive me. I just have a lot of blocks in use at the moment. Different classes and such, right? We have lots of classes coming. So the congrats goes on the top. Let me just show you the box. I should have done that. This is the little box we're making. And then on the bottom will go the you did it, which I just had in my hand. Now, I knew where it went, so kind of just makes it. Yeah, it's pretty tight. Yeah. I'm lining it up on the... The block together? On the circle, and mm -hmm. then I'm putting my stamp head down and my block yep. down. That's fine. That anybody. Yeah, that, that can be helpful, but um, we are going to use the congrats separately later. So that's why I can't, because I, I got to the second one and it's uh, separated. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you're looking for. Congrats, you did it. Yay. 
and then you can close up your ink pad. Why do they make these spots so hard to get open? Just take your scissor along the edge. Yeah, I did, but. Yeah, and slice it. It didn't. We'll give everybody a chance to get caught up. Just let me know when you are. For the next kit, there are some boxes. Um, nope. There is a separate kit of boxes, Valentine boxes that you can get. If anybody is interested, like has a classroom to do little treats for or anything like that. <clears throat> Have you, I don't remember what the Valentine one is, what the next kit is. Do you remember, Lois? I don't. Yeah. All right. I'm going to look while you guys are doing that. Take a quick peek. Not that we know exactly, right? We get just get hints. We get a teaser. <laughs> we get a teaser, which is always nice. We used to not get that, so I'm very happy. Yeah, me too. I'm very happy to get a teaser. So it is well, the lock and key, uh, which are usually tells us nine darling love themed cards, three each of three designs. Yes. So it's not little boxes, uh, but there is a, an add-on, and that's the heart-shaped box, which maybe I didn't, I saw somewhere a picture, but they don't have it here. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Okay, well, there are heart-shaped boxes, which are different from the boxes I was just talking about, <laughs> with it, which is in a separate kit that you can get. Okay, are we all stamped yet? Yes. Okay. Okay, great. Okay. So now what we're going to do is take our twine. And the one thing about this, uh, the first two boxes that we make, we're actually closing up the box. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. So I'm going to show you what I did. But we're going to take 18 inches, which is the full length of your open instruction sheet. Or you can use a ruler, or you can eyeball it, whatever. Whatever you would like. And we're going to wrap it around the box and tie it. You know how much I love to do this. Not, do not like doing this. But for this particular box and the next one, we want to just tie it with a bow. Sometimes I'll recommend tying a knot and then tying the bow after. Do not do that with this one because you're going to want to be able to disassemble it when you have a gift card that's ready to go inside. You could always just slide it off as well, but I think sliding it off is a little bit more tricky when it comes to ribbon as opposed to a belly band. So you're just going to tie a bow, and there should be plenty of, of ribbon there for you, a ribbon, uh, tw mm, twine. So I've just made my, my bow, and it might be a little long on one edge, but I'm just going to leave that because I may need it when I go back to tie it when I take it off. Okay, so I'm putting that in the center. And then you're going to take your dimensionals and put it over the right side. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna use two. I think they they use three, but and I again I didn't do it on the twine. I'm gonna go over the twine.
the reason I did this is because when I am going to go and give this to somebody, I'm going to untie this. I'm going to take off the belly band. I'm going to push it back on and then re retie it. That's what I'm going to do. So that it's not all stuck to the box or anything like that. The last step of this is using our little um, red tag. We're going to take our little graduation hat. And with the dimensional, you're going to put it right onto the tag. I'm going to do this one on a little bit of an angle. And I think we need a punch. Sorry? Like this. I think I we know. need a punch. I know. Like this tag. I know. I thought the same thing. Like, boy, I would really like this one. Yeah. And then you just slide it on, and it miraculously just stays. It's like such a beautiful thing. Oh. I yeah. need to, I definitely need a punch like this. Yeah. Well, let's. I guess I'll fingers. put it in the suggestion box. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So that is a cute little box. Number one. Everybody good with that? Yep. I, I didn't. How did you get the bread tag on? Is it go under? Do it again, Brenda. Uh huh. Yep. I just literally slid it. I put it because I know I want it to go under the knot. I just literally picked it up and pushed it. Oh, got it. Thanks. Yeah, and it just stays. Now, if you really wanted it to stay and you and your box was ready, I, on some of my other projects, put a, a dimensional underneath it just so that it would stay at the angle that I liked. <laughs> but you don't have to. Um, it, you don't need to because it just stays by itself. So, super cute little boxes. All right, we ready to go to the next one? They're going to be very quick after this now that we all know how to do this, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> so now we're going to take the next one. We're folding up our <clears throat> box. This is what we're doing. It's going to look like this. And again, this one wraps around the same way as the first one. So this is almost identical to the, the last box. It's with different stamps, different colors, different theme. Love how they do that. I just, I just really love the design of these boxes. And this is another thing. Yes, I would like a die for. <laughs> I was thinking that too, just now. Yeah, yeah but I remember saying that when we did the Halloween one. Mm. Die. So. I haven't seen one yet, but you never know. They might be working on it. That's right. It could be. Oh, this one. Sometimes it does stay shut by itself, but that's why we have belly bands. So again, I'm just assembling the box. I'm going to be crazy. And since I already made one with the stripes, I'm making one with the sprinkles on the outside. So I'm going to fold mine this way. Hope I don't confuse anybody, but I'm not I'm deviating from the, the, the sample. I mean, from the, uh, from the book, but it works just the same. So I'm folding it all in and I'm taking some of the, there it is, right underneath my other one. Tearing off a piece of my tear and tape. Putting it at the edge, of one edge. Putting my box in. Peeling off the backing. And then gently closing. For whatever reason, every single time I do it, I have to make sure the box moves. <laughs> Even though I know it's going to move. It's just something I have to do. Got to make it slide. See what it looks like. I've been 
making my belly bands too tight. Yeah, you have to you just have to be very gentle and just just let it just place down. Yeah. All right, so let me know when you're ready to stamp. That's what we'll do next. Go ahead. Yeah, don't wait for me. Right. Lynn, are you good? I'm getting there. Okay, so we'll wait. I don't want to move on before everybody's caught up because then if we have questions, we go back. So you can't get the belly band loose enough. Yeah, so you just literally just place it. So do, you don't want to like hold it tightly together. You just sort of like let it rest and then place it down without squeezing. I did better on this one. Okay. Yeah. And I do have to say that I think that's why I keep going like this. Yeah. <laughs> because, mm -hmm. you know, the first couple that was the lesson I learned is that you don't want to make it tight. That's why I keep saying it over and over. Don't make it too tight. Okay. It All right. So now we're going to move on and we're going to stamp good things come in small packages. And this is going to go all the way on the left side of this rectangular tag. So, ink it up. And we get good things come in small packages. But we're also going to stamp on the little bread tag, both the happy and the birthday. And if you want, you can put them on the same stamp and then take the birthday off to do one extra one because, and I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go from the birthday and I'm gonna do mine on a jaunty angle too. I like jaunty angles. I like the word jaunty, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> I like saying jaunty. So I'm doing happy, happy birthday. There we go. Wow, you got all that on that little tag. Yep. Yep, and you can too. <laughs> that is actually what is in the um, instruction too. That's how I know you can. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Yep, I didn't make it up. Just how they were. Happy, happy birthday. He to keep talking while everybody's doing stuff, but let's see. So celebration is very exciting. We have some great, my favorite things are the DSPs. I'm excited because I can actually, like when I'm talking about something, I can show you what I'm talking about in the catalog. I'm not used to having to not show it. Um, because we're not allowed to show the inside of the catalog until it launches officially. I don't like to break rules. Oh, well, I don't, but I'm very excited. My favorite is what I showed in my um, video yesterday. When I did it, it's this gorgeous DSP with all these good dainty flowers. Lois, did you get this? Um, Which one is that? Dainty oh, flowers. Oh, yes, I think it's I did. And I it coordinates with the Dainty Delight bundle? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, good. Because <laughs> it's on my list and I just You're can't. welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, Dainty Flowers, yeah. yeah. I got the whole thing. Awesome. Glad <laughs> I could borrowing help. that. You'll all see that in the near future, but definitely 
I'll be using the DSP this month. I am trying to feature as much celebration as I can this month because just in case things sell out, you know, I don't want yeah. to be reliant on it. So are we still stamping out there? Yep. Okay. Take your time. So yeah, so I'm very excited about that. And then the owls are just so darn cute. I've gotten so many for people already. So I just added a bunch to my order. Those cute little owls. Yeah, I haven't gotten the owls yet. What's that? I haven't gotten the owls yet. Oh, okay. Well, if it sells out, I'll have a couple of extras, hopefully. <laughs> Because <laughs> well, I didn't put in an order yet today, so uh -huh. yeah. Um, I was only rushed because I had to get more um cardstock for class next week, so I had to place mm -hmm. order anyway. And I did was doing the paper share, so between the two, I had to place this gigantic order today. And other than the paper share, which is fun in itself, nothing else was fun. It was like all basics, and my freaking dimensionals <laughs> which oh, as i've mentioned although now i have two because i get two kits every month so thankfully they came with dimensionals so, woo and i had found some like in a bag for my class for yesterday <laughs> so funny. well if you need some i probably have some yeah I'll i mean to get your order in time yeah okay i no, i i will have it but uh yeah, if just something happens if it bad yep. orders or something so yeah Anyway, okay. Are we ready yet? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do 18 inches of our um, twine, and we're going to wrap it around the box, and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to tie that bow just like we did on the last. I'm happy to report that the last two boxes are different. We'll be doing that a little differently, but we're putting, the, um, as you can see on here, the bow is at the right hand side, so it has room for the the label that we just stamped. So we want to make sure we leave that room. So just tying a bow. This is a really nice uh, twine, though. It's always nice to have twine in many colors because they're so easy to add to any project. So here we have a twine bow. And again, you'll have an opportunity to retie that when you, uh, when you go to give the gift. But we're going to take our label and we're going to put it over again. I am not securing the ribbon this way. I'm doing it so that it does not secure. Yes. Okay. I'm bow challenged. Oh, me too. Well, and twine sometimes makes a funny bow, but remember, you're when you oh, you're going to have to untie it anyway when you um go to give the gift, right? Because you're going to have to get in there. So you're using oh, yeah. dimensionals. Yeah, I use dimensionals on the back of the tag. Okay. Yeah. And then the little bread tag just slides on. Yeah. I'm having trouble with this. Can't see it. <laughs> on a bad angle. So that just slides on. Oh. And the very last thing is a little teeny tiny cupcake. And I like to put it on a jaunty angle also. Some angles going on here. The little cupcake, so cute. God, I would use that in so many places. But if it was a stamp, I would complain that I wouldn't want to color it in. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they don't need to listen to me. <laughs> I just cause problems. <laughs> so anyway, so here are the two 
uh, versions of that box just by flipping the um, but yeah. flipping the belly band. I like sprinkles. I don't know, but this I think I do think these stripes are good when you have a masculine gift to give. I think that they really look looks nice. So, and I definitely have a lot of those. So, all right. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready to move on to the next one. All right. I'll give it a minute. You good, Sheila? Okay. So just a repeat from last time. Let's do the same thing. Assemble our box. Putting that pretty blue on the inside. I am, but you can keep it on the outside. You absolutely can. It still goes. So we just fold it up and over, and then it flips in place. Yay! Over, flick, place. Now, I might go crazy on this one and do the same thing and switch. I do like this. I like this belly band. I, um, I like these little flowers. You'll see some things I did with it later. But I think I'm going to do this one with polka dots because I like polka dots too. So I am doing the inverse. So this is what's in the... Um, in the instructions and I'm doing it the reverse way so that you can see how it looks. And again, here I'll show I'll demonstrate one more time. I just fold it up and I just place this down and I'll put I'll just hold it there with my finger as opposed to holding it up against it. Instead of holding it like this, I'm holding it like this, which allows it to be I think a little bit looser. And tear and tape, lay it down. Oopsie. Bring it up. So again, I'm just holding it with my finger, pulling this up, and just very gently pressing down. And then I test it out. Are you putting the tear and tape on the larger of the two or the smaller of the two? Well, they're actually the same size, but I'm doing it oh, okay. the one that goes on top. All right. Just let me know when you're ready to stamp. <laughs> so, these carrots were more popular than I thought they were going to be. So we're gonna try these out too, I think next week. I haven't quite gotten my card ready for that, but thanks a bunch. You really can't go wrong with that, right? Got a bunch of carrots and just fun. Are we ready to stamp? Go ahead. Okay. All right, so we're gonna be doing congrats at the top and then cheers for you cheers to forever on the right side of the tag okay so start with my congrats doing it at the top to the right and then 
Cheers to forever. Oh. So that is what that looks like. Cheers to forever. A nice sentiment. And we're also going to stamp a little bread tag again with happy and then for you. And I, for whatever reason, start at the bottom. So I'm going to do my for you. And then sorry, my happy, my happy. Be for you. That one I did straight. I know it's crazy. But it just happened that way. <laughs> Jaunty angles are good because then you don't have to worry about lining it up. I definitely am going to be saving this little stamp set keeping it in my uh, special notebook. I'm getting to the point where I have to cull my little notebook that I have that has all the, the different paper pumpkin ones, and I'm going to try to consolidate it for, uh, right now I store them by, you know, like full stamp set. And I think I'm going to change it up a little bit and store them with the sentiments so that I can just Ooh. see the sentiments all at the same time, right? wild and crazy i know i know people probably do that already but <laughs> oh plenty of people do probably and it's a good idea for these in particular but... yeah because you know to be honest i don't really go back and use the images but i will go back and use the sentiments like mm. sometimes i'm looking for just the right size happy birthday you know i need something a little smaller a little bigger so that definitely happens and like i said with the graduation sometimes they're elusive <laughs> so all right let me know when we're ready to move on to our string we good okay Lynn you okay yes okay so this time we're going to be going this way around the box which makes so much more sense to me because then it's all with the it's all with the belly band okay so that when you slide it off, it all stays together. So to me, that makes more sense. But we only need 14 inches. So I'm going to break out my ruler again on the side of my paper. So convenient. Find 14. Here we go. And give it a snip. But we're going to do it the same way. And in this case, I'm going to secure it a little bit. So that I don't have to worry about it untying. So this one gets tied on the left side of the box with the bow more or less in the middle. Of course, you could do it however you want. Oops. And it's still my least favorite part. Tying bows. Always a challenge. Oh, that too bad. Not the prettiest bow, but we'll we'll fix it up a little. We'll fuss with it. All right. Now I haven't used any adhesive or anything. I just tied it. And so now, once you get it tied around, you're going to take your label. And they use the tear and tape for the back, but I'm just going to use regular adhesive because I happen to have it on my desk. And, you know, I like to hoard my tear and tape. So that's what I'm going to do. And this goes down there. Mm 
Now they got a little tricky on this. So let me when you're, know when you're ready so I can show you. I'm on such an angle, this happens all the time, but I'm always a little crooked because uh, I can't get my head on top of it. <laughs> okay. So what you're going to do with the little bread tag is they used a little piece of tear and tape down the left side, back side. So if you're looking at your tag, you flip it over and you put it on the right side. Now I'm going to use my regular adhesive instead, but right? Because then when you flip it over, it's on the left, back of the left, right? Everybody got that? Yep. Okay. And then you're going to take the two little leaves and you're going to place them so that I like this. See how I did that? There we go. So that when you turn it over, it's coming off on the left side. And they look pretty. Actually, if you want one, you can have one of them pointing up a little bit more. So, again, this is the back, and this is the front. And then you'll take a dimensional, and you'll put the little flower on so that the leaves are coming off over the tag as well. And this is where I put a dimensional on the back. Now, they don't suggest this, but I like the idea so that it all stays together. So on the other side of the leaves is where I put mine. I'm going to slide this on where I like it. And once I feel like it's where I want it to be, I'm going to press that dimensional down. And now... When you slide your belly band off, the twine stays with it. Ah, nice. So much smarter, right? Yes. Yes. So much smarter. I mean, I understand why they did it the way they did it, but because for the you know for the class, we don't have the gift cards to put in here. Most people don't have them sitting and ready. <laughs> some people might. I shouldn't say that. Some people might. I have some friends, probably do. Are all set. But, and that's it. So here's your two designs, one with polka dots and one with as as advertised. Easy peasy, right? Yes. Now that we know how to do these, mm -hmm. so we can move on to the last one. Okay. So as we did before. Fold up our box. Could you show me the um where you put the flower again? Sure. I'm a little sorry. Behind. Sorry, sorry. So here's two different ones. Okay. Just put it on the top. Yeah. So the leaves are on the back and the flower is on the top somewhere. Thank you. You're welcome. So, assembling the next box. Taking it in, folding it over. Another box, and then of course we're going to do our belly band also. And I'm just moving along. If you need me to stop, you let me know. Did I do this one with the reverse? Make it I think I did. No. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it the other way. <laughs> What's that? I feel like we're getting a different conversation in here. All right. 
dropped mine on the floor. Whoop! Go get it. All right. So, going crazy. I'm doing mine with stripes on the outside. They're fun too. I like the fact that they're they have so many reversible options. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know. Right? I they they really did a good job with that, I think, because you know, you don't necessarily have a need for you know four baby cards, neutral baby right. cards, baby things in one right, you know short period yes. yeah plus if you know it's a girl not given this <laughs> if i know it's a girl <laughs> i'm definitely going to do something girly boy yeah. is fun <laughs> but if it's a girl mm, nah, not me my god if i can do girly i'm gonna do girly <laughs> have no chance to do that so do it when i can So just let me know when you're ready to stamp. I know it takes a couple minutes. What did you say? Brenda? Yes. How's Emma? Emma's good. Yeah, she's good. She'll be here on Saturday next week. Oh. Yeah. She, um, yeah, she doesn't have that Friday night nurse, so she, she comes on. On Saturdays, um, what's I gonna tell you? I can't remember. Anyway, yes. Oh, I was gonna tell you that my Friday morning class is full. Really? <laughs> Isn't, that wow. funny? <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? It just—I uh, never know, month to month. That's crazy. Wow. I know. I know. There was what, two of us there in this last for <laughs> I know. So yeah, it's just funny how that goes. Yep. So well, I plan to come Friday night. Oh good, because then you can keep Lynn company. She's Lynn's the only one so far on my list for sad Friday really? night. But that people will add, you know, as we get closer, they do. Okay, so I'm gonna get going on this stamp. Oops, where's the box? Here it is. Cute little box. This one has a little more stamping on it. Well, it's actually only three stamps, but we're gonna do special delivery at the top. Of the circle. So at the top of the circle, you will stamp your special delivery. And then we have a strip, and that will get the for your special delivery. So that's cute. Special delivery for your special delivery. Very cute. And the third one that gets stamped is the oh baby on the little uh, bread tag. Which I think is so cute. Oh, baby. So yeah, it's very nice that this is a nice neutral one because so often, you know, most of the time you do know if it's a boy or a girl, but these days, but some people still don't like to know. So it, and if you, aren't as close, perhaps, maybe you would send something like this, so. Always fun. Baby gifts are always fun, though. Although I don't even know where to go anymore, you know? When you go to the stores, I end up buying them online. <laughs> but I, I prefer to go to the store, though, so I could touch them and hold them up. Yeah. <laughs> they're so cute I don't remember the last time I bought a baby gift but I went into Macy's and 
I just was, I wasn't wowed by anything there. Now, granted, I ended up getting, you know, some basics, but it was uh, a little disappointing. So that was for a baby boy, too. So that's fine. <laughs> but that's less fun girl. anyway. <laughs> What's that? I find that less fun anyway. Oh, yeah. It's boys. still less fun, but it's, uh, yeah, they have some cute stuff. But yeah, for the girly stuff, I, there just wasn't anything really wow. Like they used, you know, they used to. They used, used to have, have quite a nice selection. selection now. What did you say? They used to have a very nice selection. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And I used to be so jealous looking around at all the little girly things. They were so pretty. And then my favorite store was Gymboree. I don't know. If I was going to say, I love Gymboree. That yeah. was fun. Gymboree and Baby was Gap. great. And it was great for little boys, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. My kids, their whole wardrobes came from there, <laughs> from Gymboree. Wait for a sale and go in and buy a bunch of yes. stuff. You know. Yeah, had to wait for a sale for sure. Yeah, yeah. But still, still fun. So I know when you only have when you don't already have all your stamps mounted, <laughs> it takes a few minutes longer. I just you know have been playing with them all day yesterday and today, so I have all of mine to clean up after this to get ready for the next one. Yeah. Lots of fun stamping and seeing everybody's videos and things. Always good. I'm going to do a reel like I did last month with my paper pumpkin um, alternative project. Oh, nice. Because, yeah, because, you know, it's a good way to just get it out there. And people can see other things that you do with it. And then I saved it on my YouTube channel and a bunch of people looked at it. So that was oh, nice. I That's know. <laughs> Trying to get out there. Not easy. So just let me know when you're done stamping. Okay. Got one. Awesome. That's two. I finally ran out of all my stamp and seal. I had to buy some more. This was my last cartridge. So I only really use it on my videos these days. Since I stopped using it in class. It's okay. I like to use it to be official. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't really like to use this. As we all know. <laughs> so. All right. So, Lynn, how are you doing there? I'm okay. Are, you, are you ready? Yes. Oh, good. Okay. All right. So, let's go to and put our special delivery on the right side. And they use the tear and tape, and I'm using just my regular stamp and seal. And they have it where the special delivery is straight. And then they put the other piece on, on the angle. Okay. So you'll do that. And it was very brave of me to do without my silicone mat, but I managed. But again, that could be, that's just with regular adhesive or the um, tear and tape. Both of those. And once you get those on there, we're going to need our 14 inches again of our twine. Okay, and we're going to wrap it around the box just like we did the last one. So it's going to be the same that same idea, and we'll pin it down to the box once we have it. Happen as we want it. 
Um, and again, hard part, tying the actual bow. Blah, blah. Yeah. So it's been so warm, right? Oh, yeah, it's yeah, awful. In the fog this morning. Oh I know, God. and yesterday, oh. yeah. It's crazy. It's going to get colder, though. Did you say it's awful or awesome, Lynn? Awful. Yeah, I like it. I didn't have to drive in it like Sheila, so. Yeah. I don't mind the temperature, though. I have to. <laughs> during, <laughs> during the day yesterday, it was, it was really nice, I have to say. And I, I don't enjoy when it's unseasonably warm like that, but I was running around and it just made it easier. I didn't wear a coat, you know. <laughs> so again, I have my bow on there. And then I'm going to take my little red tag and I'm going to put a dimensional on the back because that's how I like, I think, I like to do it, but you, you, it is not what they advise. You know, they don't put that in there. So if you don't want to, that's fine. But this way, I know that it stays out of the way. And you can see for your special delivery. There we go. So that's the bread tag. I'm going to trim that down. And the last thing is the, the sweet little stars. And they also go on with dimensionals. It barely fits on the back. So if you have minis around, mini dimensionals, you can think to use that. But it doesn't really stick out too much. Let me put these down. It's funny, I have no idea what coat to wear in the mornings when I walk, Jules. Mm. And I have to, Alexa, what's the current temperature? <laughs> and then I have to evaluate which coat and which shoes. And yep. just, it seems like it's a lot more choices that need to be made in the mornings. I'm not quite ready for that. So, so those are our little boxes. Well, I Very think we pretty well. Yeah, we got. We got a bunch. So then once I got the hang of it and I was, uh, I should have on the first one done the alternatives, but I didn't. That's okay. So there they all are. Don't they look pretty like that? Mm -hmm. in a row? <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> They're fun. So let's talk about what you can do with them. <clears throat> now, these are in no particular order. I was trying to decide an order and I couldn't come up with one. So I just said, I'm just going to go random. They, after a while, I felt like they started to look the same, so I didn't go as crazy as I could have. But basically, you can do exactly this on a card, and that's easy enough to do. So this is a semblance of that. One of the things that somebody um, pointed out that you could do, so some people are concerned that their background papers, you might see the score line. So let me just give you a little hint on that. So if you're going to make cards, what you want to do is if you cut on the score lines, then when you put it on, you can, so this one has a piece this big, and this one has a piece this big. Oh. So it's actually underneath there, it's mm -hmm. not. Okay, so I covered it up. Now this is a box. Now I, t I think I mentioned before, I did not cut out, cut up, I didn't cut up too many boxes because I want to keep them. So this could have just been a piece of um, the mm, Tranquil Tide, paper but instead I do like the texture on it so I did want to use that so um so that is the box and then the belly band just cut up and then put on some coordinating cardstock easy peasy and that sweet little cupcake and then this same thing so this one is actually there's a score line back here but you can't really see it actually it's cut so it's actually I should have left it a score line, but I didn't. I cut them and I put them together back here. And then this is one of the little labels. Remember we were talking about those before? These come in really handy. 
to put on. And I know that I like to have birthday cards, so I needed a birthday card. This one just took some of those strips. So when you cut this, you end up with, let's see here, you can see the score lines better here, right? You have a big piece here, and then this piece is thin, and then a bigger piece here, and then a thin piece here. So I cut them into those pieces, and I just use those extra strips and flip them over, too. So this is actually all three different boxes, just, you know, the two different designs from each box. So that's quick and easy, right? And the Let's Celebrate You is from um, a new stamp set, the Sentimental Park stamp set. And I just love, this. it happens to be on my desk, so I figured that's what I would use. So this is a card where you can see that the border has the score lines, but I don't really think it takes away from the card. And then we just stamped Oh Baby over here. So kind of fun. And then this is actually two pieces of the twine coming around. And then same idea. Okay, and then this just uses one of those labels and a circle. So wow, what is that? Two different <laughs> <laughs> two things at the same time but I love I do love to layer them like that so that's one and um, this one is pretty much doing the this one uh, no this one see it's this card but I had run out of flowers and so this is actually from the new catalog one of the punches the flowers with the punch so that's petal park so just a little flower so that was that, but the same idea. And this one, I just mixed it up a little bit. The happy birthday is from mm, Lasting Layers, something like that, uh, stamp set um, from the catalog, but nice generic. I thought for, a, for, you know, a masculine card, I thought this would be good. And then for graduation, sometimes I might want to do a an actual card instead of a gift card. So this was actually the first one I made um, and I just took I like the idea of taking the twine and wrapping it that way give a little bit of interest and you'll notice that I used I this is actually garden green which is the color of our high school this is like the garden mm. green. well I'm all set ready for graduation <laughs> and then this was my last one so same idea I just used one of those little tags you know, to use a flower and just did some layers. So you can see how simple they are. I didn't do anything fancy, but I still have plenty of more pieces by just taking coordinating cardstock to be able to make a whole bunch of cards. So that, that's the whole show, baby. That's it. <laughs> that's what I got. So let me just end out with uh, the place spotlight here. And thank you for joining me. Really appreciate thank you, it. Brenda. Yeah, so it was a lot of fun. So I'll see you girls hopefully next week. So Lois, are you going to be able to come this time? Yes. Awesome. Okay. Uh, either good. Friday night or Saturday, Saturday night. morning. Yeah, whichever works. There's okay. plenty of room in both. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but not Friday morning. <laughs> no. I'm getting to the no. point. I think I'm, I'm back at to like working nine. on Fridays. So. You know who's coming Friday morning is... um. Nancy. Oh, because Nancy is now retired. She retired. I thought so. So I want to. I have to. Oh. Yeah. Well, anyway, well, I will. I will. I know. It's hard to do. Just funny. Everybody's shifting around and yep. <laughs> coming out of the woodwork. So it's great. So anyway, thank you so much. Thank you. And yeah. Happy paper pumpkin. Happy making <laughs> projects with all the leftovers. <laughs> lots Thanks, there. Brenda. All right. Bye -bye. Thank you, ladies. Take care. Bye. -bye. Bye.